Um, we will start first with chapter one, uh, where we will uh, zoom in on the different where questions that are relevant in our daily life. So the where question starts, in fact, from the observation that everything is happening somewhere. Uh, location questions are asked for by almost anyone, citizens, organizations, businesses, but also policymakers, decision makers, and so in general, also public administrations. So it's not a, a particular group that is wondering where something is happening, but it's everyone. Starting with a very simple question, where am I? Uh, maybe driving around in, a, in a, a bus van to find an address or a municipality. But in general, it can be also uh, more general places or, or names like, for example, the name of a mountain, the name of a place that is uh, known by uh, many of us. Um, but also where something is or is happening is very important also when we as a citizen are, for example, moving to a new house, we want to know what is the neighborhood, um, the direction and the characteristics of a neighborhood. Uh, for example, where are the shopping streets uh, in the new neighborhood where I will live? Uh, where can I find the closest bus stop? But also, uh, other uh, organizations such as dispatching operators, police, fire brigades, etc., they might need to know where did something happen, uh, for example, an accident, uh, and how can I get there as fast as possible? Um, so these are typical questions about where is something or where, where is something happening. But all the, also other questions can be put on the table, like what are location characteristics? Uh, for example, when we move or when we are interested in a particular area or in a particular building or whatever, we want to know, is there a sewer system underground? Or is this uh, house in a flood prone area? Uh, is it close to a flight path to and from the airport? Uh, and another example is, okay, I'm interested in gardening. What type of underground will I find there? So these are examples of physical characteristics uh, of the buildings, of the surroundings, of the environment. But there can be also uh, location characteristics that have more to do with administrative rules, policies that apply to a certain location. For example, I'm interested to build a new house in an area. I find a plot of land, cadastral parcel, but does the spatial plan and other regulation allow to build the house there? Uh, what will be eventually the risks uh, if I built a new house? Is it close or in a flood uh, risk area? Um, is the parcel very close to uh, a protected habitat, for example, uh, or uh, uh, a park that is, uh, has certain conditions? And the fourth example is what are rules for building a house there? What is the characteristics of this area? Can I buy, uh, build a, a closed house or rather a villa type uh, of house? So let's say administrative rules and policies apply to certain uh, locations. And that's uh, important to know as a citizen or a business. Uh, there is also one step further, uh, uh, we can speak about spatial patterns, questions uh, related rather to what are characteristics of a broader area without uh, speaking uh, about characteristics of a particular location or plot. For example, is this neighborhood a green neighborhood or rather high rise neighborhood like the central business districts in the US? Uh, what is the type of housing? Usually this is grouped without maybe clear boundaries, but is, are we speaking about uh, a villa style uh, area? Um, but also social characteristics like uh, I'm interested, I have a family with small kids. I would like to live in a neighborhood where there are similar families with small kids, etc. So uh, these are uh, spatial patterns that do not change drastically, but move and change over time. But you have also spatial patterns uh, that are evolving. Uh, so for example, a forest fire can occur, it's an event. 
it uh, can pop up in a certain place of the forest, but then can expand in a certain direction based on, for example, wind speed and wind direction. Uh, for example, uh, outbreak of animal or human diseases. We are doing the mapping with COVID-19, but in the past, uh, the European Union is monitoring, trying to monitor what's happening with outbreaks of pig diseases or uh, mad cow diseases, etc. Uh, traffic is also a typical evolving spatial pattern. Uh, how many kilometers of uh, traffic jams are there on the roads uh, towards Brussels, for example? Uh, weather patterns, typically, we also know it's always evolving, always changing, of course, without knowing and, and understanding the details of how weather is happening. Uh, we can follow the weathermen or women that are explaining these patterns every day. So it's more to monitor and to uh, understand as a public authority, a decision maker, how this dynamic pattern might have an impact on what we are doing and uh, require also some uh, decision making and intervention. One step further then uh, is also that you can create or uh, wonder about spatial scenarios. So decision makers in general or policy makers can uh, wonder about the impact of a potential measure or on, a state, on the state of affairs. Uh, for example, intervening again in the COVID-19 uh, um, pandemic, what can we expect uh, as the impact on the spreading of the virus if we, for example, prohibit circulating more than 10 kilometers from home and schools, and the schools and shops are, are for example, closed? Uh, what will happen then? Uh, what is the impact on traffic flows and congestions if we modify the crossroad of, and the traffic lane system? Uh, so what will be the influence on these traffic jams? Will they uh, disappear, for example? Uh, another example is uh, what will happen or what will be the impact uh, on the economic development if we build a, a highway between city A and city B, but also avoiding maybe uh, uh, to impact negatively a protected area. So uh, the traject or the route uh, uh, chosen of, of the new roads uh, should be done in such a way that it has no negative in, environmental impacts. So these are all examples of uh, location questions. So what we learned in this uh, chapter is uh, that location and related where questions are at the heart of our daily lives. We pose them every day. Where am I? Where is something happening? What are characteristics and rules at the location? What are evolving spa spatial patterns here? What are potential spatial scenarios, etc.? So. Uh, the location question is key in everything we do.